Okay, uh, we're going to finish up with a kind of a case presentation and a mock session. Uh, a couple of these will be similar to things we've talked about over the past couple of days, but we're going to look at them from a different angle, either from uh, anatomy or imaging or clinical presentation. So you'll see kind of a different viewpoint of this and how a imaging differential may be very different than a clinical differential. Uh, so we'll kind of approach things in the same approach and look at a couple of similar areas and some new areas and different pathology. So we'll go through some cases and do kind of a mock session. We'll have a couple of questions and see how we can go through these. Uh, so first case is a 44-year-old guy with some type of history I'm holding. Uh, so this is his case. So we've got an axial CT uh, kind of through the temporal bone. It looks like we're at the external auditory canal. Maybe it's a big mastoid antrum. Here's the horizontal segment of the carotid and we have a lesion there at that location. So things we might think about here. Well, could this be normal? Could it be METS or one of those marrow replacing processes? METS, myeloma, lymphoma, leukemia, plasma, cytoma, something. A meningioma, a schwannoma, fibrous dysplasia. That can be confusing. We look for the ground glass, but sometimes we have the sclerotic or the cystic types uh, or something like a paraganglioma. Uh, so in this case, we're thinking about anatomy at a certain location. It's there at the skull base. Uh, so here again is that uh, bird and profile, the buzzard's beak. Uh, here is the jugular tubercle that separates the jugular foramen on top with 9, 10, 11 in the jug from the hypoglossal canal coming out under the beak of the bird. And here's just a post-contrast study with normal enhancement. We like to see a nice black line on MR or a white line on CT around the head of the bird at the eagle, uh, at the buzzard at that area. Uh, so different pathologies we might see at this location. Uh, so here's a case where we have a coronal CT and an MR. So here we have a lesion that's kind of de-beaked the bird. We've taken away the beak here, kind of permeative destructive changes. Uh, here's the descending mastoid segment of the facial nerve. Here's the vestibule and the lateral semicircular canal. And here when we do the MR, we have these dark lines within this lesion. And it looks like it's avidly enhancing here after contrast. 